Hi, my name is Oli, I'm a dog trainer and behaviorist and today I want to discuss with you dog play. So obviously dog play is a, a massive subject. So I decided to just pick two videos from my home movies um, and uh, have a look at them with you. So we're going to start with Boris and Marco playing on the beach. Uh, for your information, both dogs uh, have uh, actually never really met each other and they're a year old. So let's look at this video first and then we'll rewind and, and discuss it together. So, what are the signs we are actually looking for here? Waggy tails, mirroring bodies, relaxed bodies, some growling, open mouth, some floor sniffing, and also some jumping up. So you've guessed it, really nice play here. Those two dogs are clearly enjoying each other. Some jumping up here, uh, very little body contact you will notice. Uh, lots of exaggeration with the growling and the teeth, but it's, it's all to make it clear that it's just all a game. Um, mirroring each other a lot. You can see how they, they, their tail is always the same angle. Uh, mirroring each other again, uh, some waggy tail, uh, some open mouth. The dogs, the, the bodies are really relaxed. Beautiful mirroring here again. Uh, then Marco's going to want a little break. A bit of floor sniffing is going to take place. Uh, we know that this could be a sign of stress. However, remember, looking at the context, um, this is just a Marco wants a break. And notice how um, Boris listens and have a nice shake there. Uh, walks away and then they're both going to resume play slowly a lot of sniffing taking place here but that's for another video where we'll talk about scent uh, and boom they're, they're playing again we'll stop the video right there um, because you can see there on this still picture how beautifully both dogs are mirroring each other um, and there's my little dog right there in the middle. So this was a beautiful example of two dogs playing really happily. Um, now I would like to have a look at another video. This time it's a video of my little boy uh, Bernard, my, my, my dog, a little black one, uh, together with his best mate Max. Now you should know those two dogs know each other very well. Uh, they're about three and a half years old in that video. Uh, but it's a definitely a very different vibe. So let's have a look at this video first and then we will look at it again and discuss it together. <laughs> So quite a different vibe with this video, you noticed um, a lot of jumping up here, um, 
I must admit, if there had been many other dogs around, I would have probably interrupted that play a little earlier. Um, but so far they're fine. The, both dogs have different assets. Max is a bigger dog and he's using his paw to pull Bernard down. However, Bernard, the smaller dog, is using his size to reach for, for Max's um, neck, which has extra skin. They're running away from us, which is a really good sign. They're, they're telling us they're comfortable, they don't need human protection. Um, lots of jumping up. Actually a very equal, really good game there. Uh, rough, but, but okay. However, in a second, Bernard, the little black dog, is going to have had enough and is going to want to stop playing. And it's about now. Avoidance, avoidance, no more body contact. Avoidance again. He's going to shake there and a little tongue flick to say, I don't want any more. It's a safe, like a safe word almost. Max doesn't listen and has comes for another go. But Bernard goes, no, I really don't want to play anymore. Notice the tongue flick as well there for a split second. And Max listens, has his own shake, and, and, and then just go and have a little a little sniff to just make sure um, we're fine, we're still mates. So I'm sure you agree, uh, two very different uh, videos, two very different plays here. Now, what I'd like to stress is that um, it doesn't matter how beautiful the play is, you should always make sure that those little guys don't play for too long. Uh, play fighting, make no mistake, is rehearsal for real fight. So in the long term, you could have some, some adult dogs that actually really enjoy fighting. Uh, and that's not necessarily something that you want to be dealing with in the future. So although it doesn't look very dangerous now, it could have an impact later. But also, the more you let those guys play fight and, and enjoy each other, uh, the more likely you are to jeopardize your recall because all of a sudden cutting your dog back when he's having so much fun with the others um, It's just gonna be pointless really um, So very often people start with a very good recall and then later on in the puppy's life or dog's life They realize that uh, actually the recall is, is poorer and that's simply because they're enjoying doing other things too much So keep those play um, those play time shorter uh, great, I hope you've enjoyed this movie. There's a lot more to talk about when it comes to play, um, so watch this space. I'm sure there'll be more videos very soon. Thank you.